Aight, aight, aight. What it is, Danny X. All right, today I'm gonna be jumping into um, one of a bit, one of the big subjects that I wanted to get into on my channel, which is uh, just theology, essentially. Um, I'm gonna be calling it discussions with a true believer, but this is more. This is just a reaction. Um, a discussion is gonna require me getting, you know, equipment and shit. And all I have is my phone right now, so all I can do is react. But this shit keeps popping up on my feed. You know, and I hit on some of the religious stuff every now and then, which is why it probably keeps popping up. But, um, but yeah, like, my thing is I'm not just going to sit back and you tell me what you think and I'll tell you what I think. You know, I, I don't just sit back and, and let someone preach to me because I, uh, the preaching involves a one-way dis discussion. This this is a two-way right here. And uh, so, so right off the bat, um, I was raised um, Wiccan. I was raised Wiccan. Uh, my mom was raised because I was raised by my mom and my mom was raised uh, Jehovah's Witness and she was kicked out uh, right when she was like 18 19 Because uh, she asked too many questions and she's different, you know, and um, the a big thing about um, all the Abrahamic religions is They are very judgmental and Exclusive like if you don't dress a certain way or talk a certain way you know, they, they shun you from the community, and that's what pushes people out. So a, a lot of the uh, followers of Abraham uh, do push out, I, and that's fine. If you don't want them in your community, that's fine. But then don't complain about it later on when that person goes and, you know, into some other religion or something, you know, or, or starts thinking for themselves <laughs> pretty much, you know. And uh, right off the bat, this guy here is uh, Ray Comfort, and he's an evangelizer pretty much. Um I've and he's got another one called uh, Living Waters. Apologies for the technicalities. My my phone doesn't split screen and record at the same time, so I got to get an app to do it, and so I just got to bounce around. So, so we're gonna be getting right into it here. Um, this guy just starts off su super patronizing. J just the tone of his voice, it's like he he's talking down to you, and that, that's a common theme with a lot of. Uh, I mean, I was raised around mostly Christians, you know, so I'm very well equipped to deal with Christians. So let's go. Mm, no. You got no hope in your death? You're just waiting for death to come? Yeah, I want to see what happens. I don't think it's possible to know. Do you believe in God? No. So you're an atheist? Yes. Why? I see, there's a lot of atheists in uh, Florida, where I'm from. It's full of atheists, and, and uh, why are you atheists? That goes right back to the, a point I was making before, because religion, uh, main religion, which these days is uh, Abrahamic religions, push a lot of people out just because they are very judgmental and discriminatory, and then uh, some more than others, but then they want to turn around and preach some kind of inclusivity. But that's that. That's why. I mean, her parents very well could have been. Uh, um, you know, like just pushing, pushing religion on her. And she just said, no, that happens a lot. That's a very common thing. But me personally, I was grateful. I was raised Wiccan, you know, I, I was great raised outside the box. Um, it was like Wiccan slash pagan. My mom just encouraged us to study anything and everything. If we wanted to go to church, she'd say, that's fine. You know? And, uh, I only went to actual church a handful of times, you know, Christian church, you know? And, and uh, I mean, what they call church, okay? So, so right off the, the bat, they're hitting you with these definitions, okay? Like church, okay? God, you know? And, and they're, they're supposed to have this certain definition to it. But, okay, to me, I think church is anytime you personally connect with, with your higher truth, your higher self. That is church. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter when it is. That is church, okay? So the, um, the definitions right off the bat are, are, are skewed. I'm going to be getting into that as we go, one definition at a time. So he's going to be getting into heaven and hell, and uh, I don't believe in heaven and hell. Um, I, I believe in the, the one true God that created all, but I don't believe in the division. I don't believe God is divided, uh, which is one of the main divergencies I have from maybe Abrahamic religion is every single one of them to believe in uh, the, the division of God, you know, God divided into good and evil. But I don't see things that way. And that's one of the main, di I'm divergent. What did he use, honkies? I don't think there's enough proof to say that there is a God. If I gave you proof? Okay, so right off the bat, he's taking candy from a baby. Right off the bat. It, it, and um, I went and scrolled through his videos. And, and he chops it up with everyone. 
you know, so, so, but in, just in this particular instance, I mean, yeah, there, there's proof all around you. I mean, <laughs> the fact that you are a, a self-aware sentient singularity, what people call a person, I call it a sentient singularity. Anytime consciousness starts compounding on itself, which is every time, because that in itself is the example of creation. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, I, I'm definitely not atheist, you know, but, but th th then they try to get you at, okay, well, if you're not atheist and you have to believe in God the way we say you got to believe in God, it's like, oh, okay. Okay, buddy. Would you change your mind? Yeah, it would have to be pretty good proof. I can give you proof. J just the patronizing fucking tone. And, and he keeps that through this whole fucking thing. And, and that's a common thing with a lot of, I want to say Christians, cause I haven't had nearly as much exposure to the, uh, other two, you know, the, the Jewish and the Muslims. So, I, I mean, yeah, I've had probably a lot more exposure to the Jewish than the Muslims because that, that hasn't been till the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years till the Muslims really started immigrating to America. And, and why did you come to America? Okay. Why? I mean, maybe some of you to, to come back to America to, uh, to you know, get back. For, because the American people allowed the wars that, that went on back there, the lies left and right, lies left and right. These days, lies left and right. They're trying to get us into another war with the Middle East, you know? So, um, <clears throat> let's get into it. Pretty good proof, absolute scientific proof, in about one minute. See, I come to a lot of my uh, uh, thoughts through scientific uh, study and research and are scientific-based. And, I, I mean, this is just taking candy to, from a baby, but there's many different ways to put it, and let's just see how he puts it. Should we give it a try? Sure. Every building is proof of a builder. Every painting is scientific proof. And, and right there, right off the bat, she's like, God damn it, you got me. <laughs> you can just see it. He just goes on with many more examples, but she's like, fuck, I lost that one. It's going to have to be really good proof. Yeah, well, uh, look at you, for, for, for instance. I mean, before you even look around at anything else, just look at your fucking self, you know? Yourself is all you need to know that, that there is a creator, you know? Of a painter, we know that. <laughs> because a building cannot build itself, it's impossible. The miracle of life is so normalized that people take it for granted. You know, people just so take it for granted. The miracle of, of life is so normalized. So I'll just get into it really quick. Um, what I essentially believe is that Okay, the, there is everything and nothing. The, the, they are diametrically opposed forces that need each other in order to condense into the omniverse, which is everything. Okay, now outside of creation, there, there is other... It, the, the, okay, outside of creation is what there always is and always was, which is the, the eternal depth, the eternal nothingness, okay? Darkness and the nothingness created light, okay? Dark, darkness loves the light. D darkness create dark. Light is the darkness's creation. Okay, every single photon, light seed, which is a a, a omniverse unto itself. Every single one, and there's infinite of them, and there's infinite realities. Okay, so and uh, so so. Light doesn't move on its own, okay? Light is carried by darkness. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. People, it's not the speed of light, it's the pressure of darkness because it's the pressure of darkness which is actually moving the light seed, which is the photon. All right, let's get into it. Possible, and a painting cannot paint itself. Builder could have died 100 years ago, but you know there was a builder because the building's there. Painter could have died 300 years ago, but you know there was a painter because paintings don't paint themselves. Creation is evidence of a creator. Flowers and birds and trees, the sun, the moon, the stars, puppies and kittens, male and... She, she already knows. She, she knows she... He, he knew he had her at the first one and so did she. Let's just put it at that. Email, the seasons, the fruits, all these things are evidence of the genius of God's creative hand. An atheist believes... But some people just need that piling on. She said strong evidence, so he's like, all right, I'll just rain it on you. I mean, speaking of the rain... <laughs> What about that water? <laughs> what about that land you're standing on? It's like life isn't an accident. Life is not an accident. Life is a creation. It's the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. That's your alternative. That's where you fall. No, no, no. That's exactly what happened. Nothing did create everything. 
when it created light, which gave the the uh, contrast in order to create everything. See, see that that's one of the points I disagree with, uh, y'all. Trying to be respectful in this one. I'm trying to keep the cussing down and trying to be respectful. Like I, I was raised cussing, so I, I cuss like it's hot. But we're, we're just uh, going to be in this specific genre right here. Because uh, I'm going to be uh, interviewing true believers. Um, dark light discussions with true believers. So look forward to that right there. Um, I, I just got to get some equipment rolling first. Got some phone right now. Act two. If you believe there was no creator, then everything was created by nothing. Not from nothing, but by nothing. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Exactly. Everything came from nothing. Okay. It did. And, uh, okay, well, what is the... Because uh, uh, there has to be a physical mechanism which uh, connects all life, for one, and that is mycelium. Okay. Mycelium is the physical uh, um, thing which connects all life, okay? But mycelium, the, the physical mycelium that connects all life is in itself a representation of that which created it, which is the, 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 the dark mycelium, which comes fr from, from the nothingness, okay? And, and it, it, it's all these terms like nothing isn't quite nothing, like... Okay, outside of creation, what do you have? You have the nothingness. Before the creation, what did you have? You had the nothingness. That's what God came from. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, duh, obviously. So, but, but, okay, so God is, is, is everything, is it not? But see, my, my, my major divergence, and it's just going to be a common theme popping up, is um, all the followers of Abraham absolutely 100% believe in the division of God where, where there's good and evil see i don't believe in good and evil and and you need good and evil to get heaven and hell i don't believe in heaven and hell i believe in the energetic spectrum you know that there is an energetic spectrum because i, I don't believe in sin and, and we'll get into all that and that's scientifically impossible nothing cannot create anything because it's nothing okay and it's not scientifically impossible okay it, it is absolutely not just because the current science does not have the language or aptitude to to the the mechanism uh, uh, by by which and I'm dropping nuggets on that shit for y'all right now. Uh, so so anyway, you check out you know trees, you know trees, you, you, how how it comes up in one single thing and then comes out, and that's a representation of the roots. Okay, so so just that in itself. Just that in itself is a symbol of creation, where the what is seen is is brought forth by what is unseen, mirrored by it exactly in, in, in the darkness. In the dark verse, you have the light verse and the dark verse. Okay, so so everything in creation is an exact representation of how it was created. So and there's actually new science coming in because I'm into the science shit, man. That's that's actually what brought me to because like everything came from nothing like you, you take an, an atom for example all right an atom is mostly empty space okay you just have a tiny little bit of energy flicking around in all this empty space what is that empty space okay it, well i mean just to start off with it, it, any photon it, it is the light seed which is the representation the, the light each light seed is a uh, a particle or a quanta of the all spark. Okay, the the, the all spark is the, the creation, uh, uh, the omniverse. It, 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 it is all creation. That's the all spark. All right. So so there's different terminologies. It's different ways of looking at things. And uh, let's roll with it. That's why the Bible says the fool has said in his heart, "There's no God." Let me ask another question. Sorry. Who created God? You know, there's certain things in life that see. I just I just answered that. It's almost like I already watched this once. Yeah, I did watch this once. And as I'm watching this, and you, you go and look, I got a bunch of comments down there. I'm, I'm like, you know what? I got way too much to say about this shit. I just got to make a video. Let's roll with it. Very sure. And that is when an atheist gets proof of God's existence, they default to that question, who created God? Here's the answer. <laughs> it's it, it's logical, but but see, the, the thing is, you know... <clears throat> He tried to say everything can't come from nothing, and that's what I disagree with. 
and, and so based on that very predication, so since everything can come from nothing, now you have a whole different structure of theology that goes along with it. You see what I'm saying? Just from the, the very, it's very basic, but it was the first thing. You know, so 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 if the very first assumption about your fucking theology is off, th then everything in that line is going to be a little off. And, and that's cool. You know, there's different ways of looking at things. We, we are all sentient singularities. Um, but I, I encourage people to use what is out there as strength to, to find within yourself your own strength. You see what I'm saying? And um, let's roll with it, homie. God is without the dimension of time. We are in time. We have to wait for time to pass. But God dwells in eternity. And that's where you're going to... And time, which is light, is the gift of darkness. Darkness created the light for time. Darkness is always everywhere watching. You know, time has its time. It fades away. And darkness is there watching it every night and every day. You know? <laughs> Go when you die. So here's a question for you, Vanessa. Is your life pleasing to God, or are you doing things that are moral? Okay, so, so that question right there, when, when he says, pleasing to God. Oh, yeah, I got a lot to say about this shit. He's got a 10-minute video here. I can turn this into an hour if, if I'm going to try to keep it shorter, but I'm just saying I could. <clears throat> so, so that has the implication of what do you think other people think pleases God, okay, based on the, the theology that we force down your throat, all right? So, <clears throat> only frowned upon by him. Probably say I would do things that are. And, and that's only basing that assumption because she, she, she's aware. She's aware of these religions that you have to be aware of them in order to say, no, that's not for me. I don't believe in it, right? And of course, she's aware. But it's still, she hasn't thought stuff out much, you know. But I mean, a lot of people don't. A lot of thought into it. Are morally frowned upon him. See, that's why we deny God's existence. And she's basing that just on what she thinks other people will think. She's not even telling you what she truly thinks for herself. I can tell by how she's saying it, so with how insecure she is in the answer. You know, she, she's, and at this point, you know, she's pandering, he's pandering. It's a panderverse right here. <laughs> we got a panderverse up in this bitch. All right. But now, you, uh, Ray, I, I do a pre, you're a true believer, bro. I appreciate you. I love a true believer. <laughs> but uh, everyone's got true... Everyone's got their own beliefs. And there's more than one path. Because every path leads to God, does it not? So um, <clears throat> let's get into it. Because it makes us feel uncomfortable that God sees us. Do you know that God knows how many hairs are on your head? Okay, that assumption right there. I mean, maybe some people... That's just for people who haven't thought about it. If you if you've thought about it, then then that's just a given, you know. Of course, God sees you. Like every insect is God's eyes looking at you. You know, it, every animal, it, 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 every particle is God's particles rubbing all around you. Like like I mean, this is a fucking redundant point right here. Ed, did you know that? I, on his point, not my point. His point is is redundant if you've thought it through at all before, you know. But like, we've already established that he's he's picking on this girl. But you know, it, and this is just the one that popped up on me. I plan on going over some some more of this guy's videos here, and uh, dropping reactions to him, because like one of my main things was I want to have conversations with true believers. Like, like that is one of my main things, and uh, because I'm tired of being bullied by followers of Abraham. You know, I'm, I'm tired of it. So, the, the, but, but I can talk respectfully and, and I have thought my positions out well. And every single one of you can step up to bat. To try. But there, there's only one of you that, that say it right in your Bible. If you can't convert them, you must kill them. So there's only one of you that, that got balls. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Let's go. Every single one is known by God. In fact, he knows intimately the middle atom that makes up your eyeball because he made it he gave you a brain no i mean just the eyeball in itself okay the eyeball in itself is a symbol you know like the, every single eyeball is god's eye okay every single word ever spoken is god's words and, and this is where my divergency comes from with followers of abraham and this is where it, like a lot of what i say like if you just take it out of context and just took a clip of it and, and show that to a follower of Abraham, they'll say, oh, he, he's a Luciferian. 
<laughs> but but then when I go talk to the Luciferians, they know for damn sure I ain't one of them. <laughs> because I mean, right off the bat, I don't believe in sin, and and, and uh, the Luciferians relish and, and enjoy sin. But at the same, I I, I mean, I, I've got friends down in Florida that are satanic followers of Satan. You know, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people in Florida, man. A lot of different kinds of people in Florida. <laughs> So um, I've got friends all over the spectrum. My my family is very Christian. Um, my my dad, uh, his last name is Christian Sin. That that was never my name because my dad never married my mom. But his last name is Christian Sin. I mean, but they're they're from a family of a. Uh, they got some Viking in them that just adopted that name. You know, back when the Vikings adopted Christianity. Um, my, my grandpa's name first name is actually Christian. You know, like there's strong Christian roots in my family. But um, like at the same time, like I was raised Wiccan, you know. Let's roll with it. Your blood, your skin, everything about you was given to you by God. He gave you the ability to enjoy good music. Okay, and every single thing that he just mentioned right there is a representation of different things within existence, dude. Skin, the organs, the bones. Those are all representations of the things which took to create to begin with you know it, just like the, the, this tree you know you, 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 all these trees you, you got the, the the everything outside in the light then you got everything in the ground the roots and the roots reflect what you see up top but the, the roots will come down and then start to branch out just like it does up up top um just like the hand you know it, it, like you got the body itself and you got these things coming off of it you know that, that's all representative of the growth structure of mycelium Hearing, the ability to enjoy the blueness of the sky, eyesight, the ability to think, that's your brain. Do you think you're a good person? I try to be. Okay. This is a delicious... Look, I'm only three minutes into this video and I got 20 minutes on this fucker. You try to tell me I can't go an hour on this video. Fuck. I don't know if this phone will... It'll take this phone three days to push an hour long video. <laughs> a swing from her intellect to her conscience. Because my agenda is not to convince her that God exists. She already knows that. God's given light to every single person. My yeah, it, it, it's... There is inherent truth, which which is built into each person, which is where I get my truth from. You know, which is where everyone gets their truth from. And you don't need someone else to tell you your truth. You just have to look within. Now, you can have other people help you find your own truth within. You know, that's part of the journey and all. But ultimately, uh, we are all responsible for our own every single uh, second of the day conscious state. It is up to every single person, you know. And that's your responsibility. That's your gift. That, that's the gift of creation it is the conscious state. Living out through through every single conceivable uh, uh, situation and possibility. Agenda is to show her her need of God's forgiveness. I want to share the gospel with her because that's the power of God to salvation. That's the everlasting life. And for the gospel to make sense, I've got to take her through the commandments. It is the bow of the. All right, the, the eternal life dealio, um, because I believe in reincarnation. And what I believe, the, the all spark, okay, every light seed is a soul. And, and there's infinite seeds, infinite souls, infinite possibilities, infinite realities, okay? So what I'm getting at here is every single one of us is God. <laughs> this is where this, the Luciferians go, yeah, bro. <laughs> then you got everyone else being like, oh, fuck you, you're a Luciferian. <laughs> nah, dude, everyone is God. Yeah, everyone, but but it's a sea of gods, you know. What what is a god in a sea of gods? So so when you have that, you will have um, some gods getting together and and be like, okay, we should coerce all these other gods into relinquishing their divine sovereignty in one way or another to us, this group. And when when you have a small group convincing this much bigger group to relinquish their divine sovereignty to them through one establishment or another, that's when, I, I mean, what's going on there? I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not part of that. <laughs> I, I'm outside of all that shit because I am my own power, as are we all. I am my own God, as are we all. And, and we are all co-creators of the Godhood, okay? And we are that 
in that we are all, all our own light seed being delicately carried by the darkness. The darkness watches us the whole time. That doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. I mean, God damn, that darkness loves me. Watch me all the time like that. Here I thought I was alone. Nigga. Roll with it, homie. It is the arrow of the gospel, it's thrust. Okay. I'm going to put it to the test. Can you be honest with me? Yeah. How many <laughs> lies have you told in your life? Okay. Motherfucker, I will be so honest. You will be like, quit being. <laughs> That's what this is right here. <laughs> all right. So, so we're going to answer his question. How many in your life? And once again, he's meaning that by the socially imposed definition of lie, you know, which everyone has their own personal definition of every single thing, which is evidence of everyone's divinity. OK, because it is a person even using that one symbol in the way this group wants you to that gives it power. It's not that symbol that the, the group wants you to use. It's you using it that gives it power. OK, so just think about that shit. Um, and all that is evidence of our divinity. That is evidence of our uh, sovereignty, you know, which is constantly seeking to be coerced by elited establishments. It, 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 the, yeah, let's roll with it. Probably a lie. I couldn't count. So what do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. So what are you? And, and all this is self-deprecating. And just he's so. Oh, what are you, you dirty little lying bitch? Oh, what are you, you dirty little slut? It's just, it's just so self. But but see, this is what I'm saying. All followers of Abraham worship sin. Every single one of you worship sin. You, and now you have the Luciferians that relish in it and don't shy from it. And all you other ones, you, you detest it and loathe it and talk about it and, and point fingers and constantly look for it. That is worship, is it not? Okay, I'm just saying, you know, you have your own beliefs, I got mine. Let's roll with it. I don't worship sin because I don't believe in sin. I, I, I believe every single eventuality is a possibility, and all of that is God. <laughs> this is, again, where the Luciferians would be like, yeah, bro, and everyone's like, you're Luciferian. But I'm like, okay, this is the twist around it, though. What you choose to do with it is on you, bro. Yeah, we're all God. We all have that power. We all have... It, 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 and that's just such a normalized thing that we don't know. Okay. And, and that's one of my bigger messages for people to realize their inner divinity and, and to look within yourself. Fuck what I say. Fuck what anyone else says. Just look within yourself, man. Uh, get away from, from all the people and what they want you to think. You come out here. Look at all this. Come out here to the woods and just get up in it and, and, and start thinking for your fucking self. You know, I'm only what? Not even four minutes in on this, and I got like what almost half an hour. I'm gonna have to do a two part on this thing, or else it won't even push through. A liar, you still think you're a good person? Yes, have you ever stolen something in your whole life, even if it's small, <laughs> irrespective of its value? Okay, no, no, nothing is ever stolen. God is everything, and everything is a gift. How could anything ever be stolen? I'm just saying, you have your beliefs, I'll have mine. But there's a, everything's double-edged though, ain't it? But at the same time, you have to be, you have to know it's yours. You have to like, roll with it. Yes. What do you call someone who steals? A thief. And this is all so self-deprecating and Christians love that shit. <laughs> I have most of my experience with Christians, so are, are you other guys? I will absolutely come learn the other religions more. I will attest I don't know a whole lot about them. I do know that Muslims, that they say that ultimately when it comes down to it, try and try and try to convert and try to convert again. But if they won't convert, you got to kill their asses. <laughs> as far as I know, they're the only ones that state that in the Bible. And, and, and so to me, they're the only ones with balls. <laughs> Uh, that was probably written in the other Bibles at some point. Maybe it is written in the the, the Kabbalah or, or, or the Jewish book. Maybe one of y'all can show me that or something. But I'm just saying, I, I'm always down to learn new stuff, you know? <laughs> like, in this war bullshit, what I support is a ceasefire. It's not a ceasefire. Everyone's talking about war and should we help or should we not? How about, hey, before we even talk about that, what about a fucking ceasefire, bro? How about everyone just chill out a little bit, bro? 
how about uh they just be like hey okay you got us once the is israelis and then we got you like a hundred times so let's just call it even for now how about that you know like i i think the israelis let that one get in that the, the, those two or three get in that they, they let those get in you know <laughs> i'm just saying i this is dane's world motherfucker i no filter actually this is a, a very conscious filter right now and conveying certain information what are you a thief no you're not you're a lying thief <laughs> have you ever used god's name in vain like he's laughing she's laughing i'm laughing yeah it's hilarious but but it's self the self deprecating because they both believe in and the division and the sin she obviously believes in sin right now because she's she's heard about the theologies and deep down you know she's riding with that theology like subconsciously which has been brought up to the conscious by this conversation with this guy right here ray comfort <clears throat> comfort him ray Give them comfort, Ray. Hey, and religion helps a lot of people, you know? Do your thing. Uh, right up until it comes to hurting people, you know? Do your thing. I'm just saying, live and let live. But but there are, what I'm mostly doing is I'm letting y'all know that there are other believers in the one true God that are not bound by the dogmas. All right? Not bound by your dogmas. Now, now, dogma is cool in as far as it takes you to ascension, but when it starts bringing you to descension, when it starts stopping you from ascending in one way or another, then that dogma has a, a, a run, run its course on use for you, you know? Because the whole point of light is conscious ascension, it is becoming greater, it becoming your, your greatest potential within that you do that through through works helping each other you know you do that each other and, and and how is this helping out here this war out there how is that helping it, 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 all these religions uh, uh israelis and and is and, and muslims that you know you will hear that, that they preach such generosity and helping people but what are they doing right now can we all just take a ceasefire that's my stance on it Hey, let's just say live and let live, but these what's happening is motherfuckers are trying to drum up World War III on us. I see that shit. As soon as that shit was kicking off with uh, Russia, you know, I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. But nah, man. Uh, these are different times. Like, every time in my lifetime that we've went to war, the reason for it has turned out later to be a lie. Has turned out later and full... The, the, there was no... Weapons of mass destruction. Lie. That was a lie. You had our soldiers killing themselves when they got home because they felt so bad once they realized that was a lie and they were out there killing people for no reason. All right? <laughs> you can tell I ain't worried about being monetized. <laughs> Let's roll with it. Probably. Do you love your mom? Yes. Do you ever use her name as a cuss word? No. Why not? Yes. I love my mom. With all my heart. <laughs> I loved her because she died. She died of cancer. Um, I was a mama's boy. Um, I had an older brother and a younger sister. But um, I was the one that was there for my mom when she got cancer and died. I was taking care of her. I, I went and made uh, cannabis oil, uh, which started to fight the cancer back. I'll get into a whole other video on can cannabis oil in that situation. I'm st sticking religious for this one. But but also that is religion that because plants are here to heal you okay and at what point is it illegal to take plants that heal you and then it, it's forced on you to take chemicals that hurt you okay I call that uh what, what do they call that biological war I call that <laughs> yeah th this nigga ain't worried about getting mon demonetized at all Be because speaking of which let, let's talk about the monetization is a uh, rewards versus um rewards versus punishments tactic in order to manipulate people all right and, and it's all to, to take out uh, like my, my i'm on shadow ban i'm on hard shadow ban so this is going to take a grassroots thing to get my videos out let's roll with it because you respect her and you love her but you've taken the name of the god that gave you a mother and gave you life and used it as a cuss word very serious it's called blasphemy all right, all right. Well, hold on. I, I got an intruder. Got an intruder. All right, got an intruder. 
No, this is a very important important point. This is Ember Lee. She is my burning ember. <laughs> Ain't ya? She's my burning ember. No, this is a very important point. I gotta make it. I gotta make it. Then I'm gonna do a part two, I guess. Okay, my mom. I love the hell out of my mom. He's like, would you cuss her? I cussed the fuck out of my mom. I cussed her up and down. Yeah. She taught me how to talk. Yeah. She she taught me how to cuss. Yeah. My, my whole life, she cussed like a sailor. And it, it, it's not like I, I, I would maliciously cuss her, but, but that bitch was bipolar. She'd snap. And, and I learned, I was a nice guy my whole life, but I learned to reflect energy. If someone gives me a bad energy, I just reflect it right back. And, uh, you know, eventually I started doing that to her because that's what she taught me. That's what she did her whole life. Like, I mean, so I'm just saying personally that example for me, like maybe you could 